Oh my gosh, how did I not take damage there? Wow! Do you ever remember renting a game from Blockbuster and had a previous saves on it and you always wondered what... who... You know what I mean? Who had the game last and like, they didn't get far? Like, do you ever rent a game and like, they only got to like, World 2 on something? And you're like, Phew. I'll show them. Really? I dropped my controller. I always used to do that. I'd always, like, think about what other people were doing. Yeah, I dropped my controller. It just, like, slipped out of my hands. It happens, guys, okay? It slipped. It slipped. You loaded up Ocarina of Time for the first time. The Shadow Temple thought the game was straight up. Oh my gosh, really? That would be kind of weird. Did you guys know I didn't play Ocarina of Time for the first time? I don't even know if I've ever seen it. Until I was in the ninth grade. That's when my, obses my obsession for Zelda games started. The Wind Waker was already out at that time. And I played Ocarina of Time. And I was like... I was so upset that I was not in on, on all these Zelda games. But everyone else was. I knew what Zelda was, obviously. I had Zelda 1 and 2 as a kid. For NES. Every kid thought they were badass because they had the gold copy of Zelda 1, but like, realistically, the not gold copy is more rare, because that's the original. Kind of funny. Yeah, when I was in high school and I played Ocarina of Time for the first time, it was- I loved all of it. It was- it was such an amazing game. And then I played, um, I played Majora's Mask for like 10 minutes and I was like, compared to Ocarina of Time, this is shit. And then I played Wind Waker. And Wind Waker was awesome. And then I played Twilight Princess and I was like, this game's awesome. And then I thought about Majora's Mask again and I was like, ugh. I like Majora's Mask now though, but back then I didn't like it. I do remember I couldn't just Google how to beat a temple, but by that time, I was able to Google. Like, I remember I used to have to go to, um, there's a website that I used to go to a long, long time ago for cheats. It was called CheatPlanet.com. That's where I used to go for my cheats when I was in, like, the fourth and fifth grade. No, uh, more like five or six. I think sixth grade. By the time I hit sixth grade, I already had a, a working computer that me and my brother and sister could use. That wasn't my parents. My, both my parents had their own computers at that time when I was in the sixth grade and fifth grade at that point too, I think. Desktop wallpapers were like fucking the shit back then. Like me and my sister used to fight so hard over desktop wallpaper is insane. It's like I always had to modify the desktop wallpaper every single time it was my turn to use a computer. I come on, I delete hers, then I put my, my own on, and then had to like redo it again. Always. I remember the impossible quiz, but the impossible quiz came like 10 years after Stick Death. Dude, I can just not get good RNG in World 2, or World 1, man. Come on, game. Come on, stop. Can't you stop? I was super into magic in, like, the 10th grade, I think it was, when I was about 16. Um, and I used to get a whole bunch of magic stuff there. And it, that is where you learn actually how magic works and how card tricks and all these tricks work kind of ruined it for me yes nice by buying magic tricks i learned that um the best way to do magic is to mentally manipulate your viewer you finally got to see one? Nice. Dude, off-screen wand grab, man. Dope time saves. 
So I say to myself, when I get to World 3, okay, and this is pretty legitimate, okay, if the Hammer Brother runs away, I'll go for door 3, but he always runs away after I'm done the fortress. Thank you! Always with the dirt. I get it, guys. Okay, I'm not scary. The only reason I'm not going to lose a lot of time here is because I got off-screen wand grab. See, off-screen wand grab saves me time in World 3, right? Because I go from... I go from right at the top of the screen directly off-screen to the King's message, right? Whereas after I grab the wand, I normally fall off-screen, right? But I split once I get the wand, so... Off-screen wand grab's a time save in two worlds. Uh, in the initial world, because I grab the wand earlier, so I save time. And then in the next world, because I go off the screen a lot faster. So it's pretty cool. Beep. Uh, you have more than a couple pixels and frames to grab the one. You don't have to grab the one perfectly at the top of the screen either. It's not the the wall jump single frame, yeah, but there's no that's the only single frame trick. You got lots of room to actually grab. Yo, anonymous with the five gift subs. Wee! Yo, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Twenty-one bellied. Whee! Yeah, the hardest part of off-screen wand grab is just getting the wall jump. That's the hardest part. Everything else after that's very easy. Yeah, a technicolored man. Congrats, you got a gift sub. You should definitely try it, Haxor. In World Two, Warpless, you get a free opportunity, and uh, World Six, in hundred percent, you get a free chance too. And if you fire flower. You get a free chance in World 7 as well, the World 7 boss. Right? Like, I don't know why JF doesn't go for the off-screen wand grab. It's like, it's... It's like it's stressful for, uh... For him or something, but I don't know why, because you just... You kill the boss and you jump into the wall and hope for a wall, ju wall jump. You get the wall jump, you stand on the top, and then you just jump to the middle of the screen and hope for the best. Like, that's it. That's really all you do. Well, it, you can aim anywhere at the wall, really. It's just got to be within the 16th pixels, right? Well, okay, so World 2, there is a visual cue because there's, like, a line in the background. World 6, there's no visual cue, but I just kind of, like, there's two platforms and then, like, a line between them. I kind of, like, start running there and I just jump into the wall, hope for the best, I guess. World 7, I'm pretty sure, has... A line for a visual. I'm not sure though. I'd have to check that out. But yeah, totally, man. I can definitely show uh, the, the trick more at GDQ for sure. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Duckfist actually just learned a couple, like two weeks ago. He's he thought I was doing double wall jumps, and I was freaking insane, man. I've never in my life. The only time I've ever done double wall jumps is when I have the boot, and that was in Kaizo SMB3 in between two pipes. And I did three wall jumps with the boot. Three wall jumps in a row. I almost climbed the whole wall. It was crazy. Um, but no, with the off-screen wand grab, you wall jump and then just jump up and hold right, and there's a spot for you to stand. It's like a one tile like this. You just stand here, and then the wand goes off screen, and then you just jump right to the center of the screen and, and hope that you grab it off screen. It's pretty easy. And you have multiple frames to grab it, too. Like, you can grab it, like, two or, two or three pixels lower than normal, and you'll still get it. But the higher you grab it, obviously, the better it is. But this is too low. Like, if I got a wall jump there, I wouldn't be able to get high enough. See that? We saved the second. And I didn't... We saved the second, and I didn't get P-Speed in 3-2. So 
So off-screen wand grab in World 2 saved some time. Get wrecked, Wendy. I hope that the Hammer Brother moves to the right of level 3, like... Um... Because then I, I eliminate a potential movement of 4 with that Hammer Brother. But the other Hammer Brother can always give me a movement of 4. But you gotta try and eliminate as much as possible. If that Hammer Brother that you can see is facing right after this level, he'll always move to the right. Always. He'll always move to the right. But if he's facing left, he can move left and right. So, like I said, look at the Hammer Brother when we finish this level. If he's facing me, or to the right, he'll always move to the right. Now you gotta hope for that, because then I can get rid of him early, so I don't have to worry about this bro. And he is facing right, so he'll always move right. Hopefully, we hear a movement of one after this. Getting that cloud means I have to go in my inventory and press B, left, left, A. Nice, okay. So hopefully he doesn't do a movement of four. It'd be really annoying if he did. So I'm gonna use a star in the fortress, right? And I, I'm thinking right now about, okay, what's my inventory, right? And in my inventory, I know I have a star. I have a star, two inputs to the left because I looked at it when I uh, activated my uh, music box. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna press left, left, go over the fortress, B, left, left, A, right? So left, left, B, left, left, A, right? So that's what I'm thinking about most of the time. Uh, between levels. It's very important. Hopefully I get P-Speed here. Not this level, the next level. Got him! And I didn't lose my fire flower. Oh, I'll be hiding money in lamps, always. Little trinkets of happiness for people. I did not think I was gonna make that. My duck jump over the block was pretty small. Crap, I'm gonna have 11 coins after next level, unless the Hammer Brother wants to be nice to me. Why did I do this level? I just fucking ruined it. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I just do level 6? Why didn't I cloud, too? Oh my god. Well, I got 10 coins, not 11. Just moved down. I got so... No, you know what? I didn't get lucky, okay? I just didn't get unlucky. Oh my gosh, I thought I died because my input didn't register. But my second one thankfully did. <laughs> He's lying, those are the right answers. Nobody tell him. Teabagged him. As he passed through my body, I gave him the gold tea good teabag. It worked beautifully. Come on, come on, stop! Stop moving. All right. Wee, yo, back it up, Mario. Back it up. <laughs> Ooh, I almost didn't make that. Awesome. That's not a time waste. I tried to do something that the other runners do. Wow. So much better. <laughs> All you want for Christmas is a new PB? Maybe. Oh, just move back up for daddy. 
You know you want to. It like didn't lag there, so that's the problem. I am requesting a lending for a touch and go. Can you read me over? Over. I'm requesting for a lending for a touch and go. Touch and go approved. Over and out. Fuck off, man. This is so stupid. It's fucking garbage, man. Fuck off. Well, that's why I didn't get the world record. It's looking like I lost 10 seconds from that. So I lost about 10 seconds. They heard I was making them in uh, extinct. So they were like, not if we can help it. And I got the worst move possible. The worst move possible. I was supposed to enter this level right here at about 43, 45. Thanks game. Very fair, very fair. Yeah, only the clip in this level can save the run. That's it. Almost. That was close. That was really close.